can we solve the wave equation? Before doing so, we first have to think about initial conditions and boundary conditions. How many do we need and what are typical boundary conditions? For some convenient boundary conditions, it turns out that we can then use the same method that we already used for the heat equation. Again, we can use separation of variables as you will see in this video. So we already have our PDE, UTT equals some given C squared times UXX for X between some zero and capital L, so yeah, X is between zero and L say, and T positive. And what we need of course is uh, boundary conditions and initial conditions. So how many do we need? Well, boundary conditions, if you think of the example we were looking at, are quite obvious. Like you want to fix your, uh, uh, your u at x equals 0 and x equals l to 0. So obvious boundary conditions for our first application would be Dirichlet boundary conditions. I of our second order space, so you'll need two boundary conditions for x, just as you need it for the heat equation. What about initial conditions? Well, for the heat equation, we only needed to specify the initial temperature distribution. We only needed one function. That was because we had a, only a first derivative with respect to time. Now we have a second derivative with respect to time, which means that we need two initial conditions. One for the initial displacement, but that does not tell the whole story. You will also need to specify the initial velocity. So you will have to specify both the u at x comma zero and ut of x at time zero. Give some functions f and g. Then you fully specify the problem. Now, if we have this f and g given, how can we then solve our problem? Fortunately, we can use now the same trick as we used before. We can use separation of variables. We use of uh, we look for function of functions of the form un of x and t equals x of x times t of t. Now, plug that in, you get dt times x equals c squared times xx times t. Divide by x, you get xx over x equals 1 over c squared times dt over t. Left hand side depends only on x, right hand side depends only on time, so we have a constant, and it's convenient to call this constant minus lambda. Now, you are zero over here and over there, so your functions x of x, uh, they are sines and cosines, because you are zero, zero on both boundaries, they have to be sines, so you have sine n pi x over l, so your lambda becomes n pi over l squared, just as we saw in the heat equation. What's different? The difference starts here. In the heat equation we had only one derivative, but here we have t t t equals minus lambda times c squared times t. So it's basically minus some constant times t. So here we have a second order equation for t of t. So here we also get sines and cosines because we have a minus something positive. So the solution will be a linear combination of cosines and sines. So there we have our t of t. So our function u of x and t is a linear combination of the u n's. So that is the product of the t's times the x of x's. So there we have our general solution with now constants a n and b n. So more constants to determine. However, we also have more initial conditions, so we can in fact determine those constants. If you plug in x equals zero, uh, you, uh, you, you, drop, uh, you, you, you lose the signs and the cosine becomes one. So for uh, t equals zero, we guess the u of x comma zero is some uh, 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 a n times sin n pi x over l equals the f x, which is given. So this allows us to uh, determine the a n. And if you differentiate first, the cosine becomes a sine. Plug in t equals zero, you get zero. I differentiate the second term, your sine becomes a cosine. Plug in a zero, and you get one. So we get now contribution of the b n's times the uh, uh, chain factor uh, uh, n pi c over l times the b n times the sine n pi x over l, and it's also given by so the other initial condition equals gx. So this allows us to determine the bn, and once we have the an and the bn, we have our full solution. So this is the uh, 
uh, this is the procedure. And in order to see really how it works, we need to specify, of course, FX and GX. And that is something we will do in the next video.